Oftentimes, you want to both share information and protect information. It's two sides of the same coin. How can we share information out easily while also protecting and controlling who has access to that information? This is based around the concept of permissions, both share permissions on the actual sharing and object permissions or file permissions on files stored in the NTFS file system. Let's take a look at sharing and protecting files using permissions. So I'm going to go here to the C drive and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it project files. Now I have an empty folder. I'm going to look at the properties of this folder and on this there's a couple of tabs that are of interest to me. There's sharing and there's security. So in the sharing tab my project files are not shared. I can just click this button that says share and this gives me a simple view to do basic sharing. Click the arrow to find people. I can say I want to share it with everyone or I want to share it only with specific people. I could go out and look at who those are. Uh, I can go into advanced and I can just say find. There's my entire list of all the users in this domain. So I'm going to do some stuff with Alex. Alex and I are working on this project. So I'm going to type Alex's name in this box. I say check the name. OK, and he has read permissions by default. And I can also add Alan. Oh, I have to find, use Alan. And I'm going to say that Alan has permission to read and write. Now, these are share permissions. These would affect people who are out there on the network. They would not affect people using the same computer. So to keep it simpler, we'll often say, that we're just going to share the folder with everyone across the network and give everyone the read-write ability. Now, that works, and there's nothing wrong with that, except that may be more than I want, because I also have this security tab. And the security tells me who has the rights or permissions to the objects themselves. So it's important to understand when to use share permissions and when to use object or NTFS permissions. NTFS permissions can be used to restrict access to other users when they're logged on to the same computer. Share permissions are only going to affect users coming in from the network. So, so that I only have to manage the permissions in one place, I'm going to leave the share permissions set for everyone. But I'm not going to give everyone all the rights to everything here. I'm going to say edit this. I'm going to say that everyone has only read permissions, no write permissions. I'm going to leave the system with full permissions, Penny, that's myself in this organization, with read permissions, and administrators with all the permissions. Now I'm going to add Alan and Alex. And I'm going to say, Alan has permission to do everything, and Alex has only permissions to read, no write. So now I've set up my customized permissions on the file so that even when Alex and Alan log into the same computer, when I'm on vacation next week and they're using my desk, those permissions will still be in, a, in effect. Now all I need to do is close this and move the files that I want into the right place. So we've got a document that we're working on on application whitelisting. I'm going to put that in there. And of course, because I'm the one involved, I want to have my smiling mug there. Now we can actually set permissions right down on the individual file. I don't have to do it just on the folder level. But you'll see that it has picked up those settings from the folder, so I don't have to manage each file individually. Now, whether they connect through the share or locally, those NTFS permissions are in effect. I'd use share permissions if I had a folder on a drive that was formatted without NTFS, or if I wasn't concerned with someone else using the local computer and was only concerned about network access. So 
To protect files locally, I use NTFS permissions. If I only want to deal with the network, I can use network share permissions. But understanding where to set permissions on files is a great way to help keep your confidential data confidential while allowing it to be shared with the people you want to have access to it.